Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Just checking out my truck. Oh, yeah? Is it all right? Is everything good? A little dirty. A little dirty. Ooh, yikes. Does that mean we need to have another uh, competition? Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't know. There's like a stick on mine. Mine's a little bit dirty. Ooh, look at that. The wrap is peeling up a little bit right there. That's, that's kind of gross and embarrassing. We should probably fix that. What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. So, hi, Chris. Welcome to the most awkward intro we've done in a long time. Hold on, look at your hat, buddy. You look great, buddy. You look great. Hey, I'm here to so, help you. So do you. Thanks, pal. Thanks. I mean, my gunner slobber covered sweatshirt. So, as you guys know, with the new warehouse that we got, we have been kind of told not to drive on the floor for a couple of days because they just went in and painted all the floors in there. And, well, we're about a day early on that, but I'm sick of waiting. And as my good buddy Chris noted, like, they're going to peel anyway, so we might as well just drive on them. So, you know, we've never had two trucks in there. I pulled my truck in there while I was looking at the place to kind of decide on whether or not I thought two trucks could fit side by side. Today's gonna to be a big day to see if, well, hopefully they do, because we're already committed to a long lease. So if not, we're screwed. And we also have gotten the appraisal numbers back on my truck. I know a lot of you guys were really interested in seeing what this thing was valued at from the appraiser. So we'll get to that as well, but let's load up the trucks and uh, head on over to the warehouse. Are you ready, Chris? All right. Man, that, that beard looks great on you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Work with what you got. Well, hey, buddy, good to see you again. Oh, you. All right, Chris, let's see how much has changed since the last time we've been here, buddy. The doorbell doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, all right, can't wait to show you guys everything we've done with this place. Ah, that was the, not the doorbell. Uh, we put up a banner that we put up last time. Uh, yeah, we haven't done much, guys. We haven't done much. We're still uh, trying to game plan everything, and you know, we haven't really been able to move into the warehouse because these floors were freshly painted. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, Chris. Thanks. Chris is on uh, turn the light off patrol, you know, because we got we got to save energy, aka like, you know, save some money, you know. All right, here's the problem, buddy. Let's open this crazy door here. Any of you guys out there own a garage door company and want to uh, talk some numbers on getting this thing motorized? Just let me know. Oh, we got a shopping cart. Nice, look at that. We got our first vehicle. Uh, my name's Ryan. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Not off the door, Dick. No. Feel free to hit it all you want. Well, uh, I don't want to hit that. Okay, yeah, that's true. Don't hit my truck. All right, where's your key? It, it. Six trucks in here now. Now I charge you for your 200 square feet a month that you're gonna take from me for. Uh, oh, dude, I got you this warehouse. I mean, kinda. Something like a huge ass swing right here. Think a big swing? Big swing with some straps. I think we get some some equipment right here. Some some welders. Some yep, 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 yep. Full fab shop going on. We gotta build our work platform up there. Honestly, I think it's. it's I think your truck needs to get out of here. Oh uh, no, no, I don't get to keep my truck in here. Nah. <laughs> what happened, buddy? 
<laughs> you gotta watch out, they'll stick off the wall a little bit. Really? We're thinking we need to put a sound system in here, but like, we got two of them, you know? But we, we gotta get a little bit better music here, hold on. All right, let's get to the reason you guys all clicked on this video. I have in my hand, and yes, it is in fact this many pages. Um, I'll try to like cover up the, the personal information there. Well, vehicle appraisal report for my 2016 GMC Custom 2500 HD Denali diesel 4x4. So as you guys know, uh, with my previous truck, being that I was hit by a drunk driver, the truck got totaled. My insurance agent who had told me the whole time, hey, just keep your receipts, you're good, you'll be covered on any aftermarket stuff you do to your truck, and then come time for them to step up because the other guy's insurance sucked, my insurance had to step up and do everything. Um, they ended up giving me $1,000 for all the aftermarket stuff, which was crazy because I gave them, I think, $40,000 worth of receipts. So I'm aiming for, with this truck, to not ever run into that issue again, and you don't really know, you know, until these things happen, so, Hopefully through me having to learn the hard way and the expensive way, uh, I can help out some of you guys. Chris, are you doing something back there? <laughs> Why are you always doing something? All right, <laughs> anyways, hopefully you guys can learn from me having to learn the hard way and it'll prevent things from happening to you guys. So basically what I've done is I've set out to get a vehicle appraisal on this truck, hoping that I can then approach insurance companies saying, hey, I have an appraisal from a you know pretty qualified appraisal company that uh, you know I would like to insure my truck at the appraised value or which would be considered agreed value um, on the insurance side of things. And now mind you, it's not like I'm trying to like get these guys to insure this truck for a ton of money and not pay more. Like I understand that's what it costs, but a lot of the insurance companies just say, no, we're not gonna do that. So um, in talking with my insurance agents, this is gonna be a big help and we're gonna see going forward if this is gonna help us be able to insure the truck at the value that is stated here in the appraisal. Now, if you guys are wondering what it takes to appraise a vehicle like this, um, I went through Polk, Polk, Polk Associates, uh, LLC. They're out of California. They do all kinds of vehicle, estate, whatever appraisals. And so this is kind of right in their wheelhouse. They were one of the few companies that were like, number one, answer their phone, and number two, we're willing to take on this appraisal. So, you know, what I had to do is go through, take a bunch of pictures of the truck, and if you, you'll see in the report here, I mean, these are crappy, but I sent them a bunch of high quality pictures of the truck. This is all just what they've scanned over onto their report. Um, we'll get to what this is in a second. Then I had to send them all a bunch of receipts that I have here, which is, you know, pages of receipts. So we sent them Pictures of the truck, all the receipts, and then kind of a, a brief breakdown of what's been done to the truck. Then through that, they basically take all that into consideration, value that, they'll look for comparable trucks on the market. So right here, they've got uh, basically what the NADA value is of the truck stock. Then they go and try and find comparable lifted trucks for sale out there. So whoever's selling your 2016 GMC with gray and gold rims uh, they brought you up and there's a couple other ones in here i feel like i've seen some of these for sale on the interwebs um but yeah so they basically look for some comparable stuff for sale to try and gauge like a fair market value whoever's asking 108,000 for that 2018 uh <laughs> you're crazy but hey, good luck you know more power to you but yeah so that's basically the way it goes through um, and then they put together this big appraisal report for you, which at that point you can take to your, uh, your insurance company and hopefully try and get it done at an appraised value. Now, before we go any further, I want you guys to take guesses. I don't know, it's going to be weird because you can just fast forward and watch this. I want to take, take guesses on what you think they value this truck at. Oh, Christopher? Christopher, you want to guess what? I'm guessing 60000 yeah, you tuck your head real quick back into that truck, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully you guys can guess better than Chris can guess. Let's just put it that way. Um, so, you know, it took about, I don't know, about a week to get the report back. And in case you're wondering if I'm stalling, I am. I'm giving you guys time. Like, comment down below what you guys think it's going to be valued at. They obviously have to value things at a depreciated value, at a used value. Um, so I don't hate this number. Just know that. it's. Trust me, if we can insure it for this number, it sure beats what I dealt with on the last truck. So, without further ado, 
They have valued this truck at. Chris, can I get a drum roll? $94,350. What are you laughing at, Dick? That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, that's, like I said, uh, do I think it's worth more than this? Obviously, absolutely. Um, but that being said, like that's not a horrible number if we can get it insured for that, which is obviously gonna be the next step in this whole journey is seeing if we can get an insurance company that will take a real appraisal from a real appraisal company that has quite the uh, credentials. I think their credentials are in here somewhere. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, they specialize in all this stuff. They go to like court and do a bunch of stuff. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty well credentialed. So we're gonna see if the insurance company will take that for the 94,350. Um, like I said, I value it at significantly more just based on receipts, but um, I get it, you know, that's the name of the game with appraisal. You're not gonna obviously get back exactly what you put into something, that's for sure. So this is a, this is a big step, you know, I, I wish it was six digits instead of five, but at the same time, we're so close to 100,000 that I'm not gonna get all butt hurt and split hairs over it. So first things first, we gotta get this place kinda all like set up with cleaning supplies. Uh, we need to get a fridge. Maybe I'll bring the Red Bull fridge over from my house. Chris, Chris is on snack duty, right buddy? You got a little snacks? No. There's a candy warehouse like not too far from here that Chris is gonna go raid and hook us up. What kind of candy are we getting? Whatever you want. The what warehouse is like four times the size of this one, so. Just get it all. Get it all? Yeah, we can stack all the way to the ceiling in here. So Chris is gonna handle the snacks, and I mean, he's probably gonna end up going with me to get all the cleaning supplies and all that too, right buddy? And then we gotta move. We gotta bring a bunch of stuff here. I don't, we still haven't really figured out what we're gonna bring here, what we wanna bring here. <laughs> it's like- a Red, Bull, a Red Bull fridge. Red Bull golf fridge, cart. golf cart, the fat, fat scoots. scoots. Uh, That's about it. Well, we gotta build the podcast room, but we gotta buy new stuff for that. We gotta bring the podcast equipment. What else? Couch. Chris wants a- Couch, you know, in case you gotta like cast some talent or something, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, then we gotta get set up to like detail, you know, my truck here, cause Josh obviously can come here now and handle it. He's got a nice indoor area to really, you know, not be out in the sun. I think he's gonna enjoy it. Chris's truck can get waxed now because Josh does not want to do it in the sun. Hey, so a lot of people have been asking what these are, which is crazy, cause I think they'd be watching our videos, they would know. So this is a speed pool setup. Um, I'm running the same setup on my truck, but I run them in the front of the bed. So basically, when you're not using them, you can either undo an Allen screw down there and pull the entire pole out itself, or me and Chris, probably because we're lazy, but they also look kind of cool, is we leave them in place. So when you want to put your flags on, all you do is unscrew your spike here without having the flags on it because they're sitting over there. Put your spike on your big pole, and basically the flag would be on this setup, which you can either store in your truck, which is typically what we do. And then you just screw on your flagpole. So if you guys are wondering where to get those, right there, speedpool.com. Um, they're by far the best flagpole setup that's out there. What's up with the pink bang you got back here, buddy? Don't worry about that. What <laughs> are you drinking the rose bang? <laughs> yeah, you know, a nice little uh, rose bang dinner. Yep. I think we can get Bang to send us like a Bang fridge for this place. That'd be sick. Right? Like I think we're we're like shouting Bang out enough that we need a Bang fridge for the whole. I mean, place. we buy like what, three or four cases a week, probably. If anybody's got any connections with Bang and they can get us a Bang fridge here, at least a banner or something. Or a Bang banner, yeah. All right, buddy, we 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 going? Come on, you don't get to sleep here, Chris. I don't know. You're, you're trying to already get free warehouse space to keep your truck. You don't get to live here too. Come on. Let's go. We gotta make a run to Home Depot. I know the candy place is closed today, but we'll make a... I'm pretty sure the candy place is closed. Let's go to Home Depot. Let's get some cleaning supplies. Get this place all hooked up so we can open up shop. Home Depot's expensive, dude. Are you trying to go to dollar store? Yeah. So unfortunately, we have lost Chris. We are at the Home Depot without him. I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's too much work on a, on a weekend for him to do, so. Grab us a cart here. Well, I think we've got enough cleaning supplies for now. I feel like I'm moving into 
a new house or a new apartment or something with all the crap we gotta buy, but it's all part of the process, I guess. Once we get all this stuff out of the way, that means we get to go on to building the fun stuff, which will be happening. I'm assuming we're starting tomorrow. Dave's already real antsy today to come over and start building stuff, but obviously, you know, we gotta get a few things in place first. But with that, we're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Catch you in the next video. I'm out. Damn. Uh.